Well, Interfaith Works is a nonprofit organization here in Syracuse, New York. We've been around for 40 years. Our agency has a huge center for dialogue, which builds bridges of understanding among people who are different from one another. In the aging by design world, we serve a number of people, as I said, who are elderly, who are living in their homes, but we also serve the senior companions themselves who are elderly people who want to stay active in the community. And then we have a whole other population of refugees who are elders. So we see ourselves as really taking those tools and giving it a try here with our own people. We're very interested in learning how to cross over between our departments, through, whether through our Center for Dialogue or the Center for New Americans, Spiritual Care. Um, and there's no program that we're going to receive that's going to teach us how to do that. If we want to build strong programming to address the community needs that, the, that we see that are unique to the work that we do, then we need tools like this. We think that there's a lot more that we could be doing to effectively help people age in place uh, and to live more independent lives and also an opportunity for people to be connected to services that they may not even know about that our community has. So we're going we're gonna to hope to use all of that in this project. Organizations are using a couple different tools, uh, postcards and empathy maps being two of them, to guide their conversations with older adults and caregivers. And the postcards uh, give a very basic uh, and simple, straightforward prompt, uh, asking people uh, if you really knew me. And the empathy maps ask older adults and caregivers to describe a memorable day that they had recently, uh, asking questions uh, in a little bit more detail. What did you see? What did you feel? Uh, what did you hear? So we're using that information to uh, basically create a landscape of, of voices, of client voices that our participating organizations or our partner organizations with Aging by Design can use to build their programs and services uh, through the next phase, uh, the implementation phase. So we're already thinking about um, you know, this approach to you know, bringing the client around the table, building programming together is very, very well fitted to the work that we're already doing in the direction that we want to go in and to be able to, we need to be able to do creative programming in-house. We've been actively participating in this, the community conversations where they have these postcards of tell me about a memorable day. Uh, we have, we've been doing that with our, uh, with our seniors and really finding people love to tell their stories. And out of those stories, I think we're going to be able to design even better programming.